Are we going to have a winner tomorrow night? Are we going to be able to proclaim who has won president of the United States? And by the way, are we even going to be the ones to do this? Are we going to see the Supreme well, Court do I'm, I'm somebody it's who thinks that Mitt Romney is going to win big, and that's the only way I think that you could see. I don't think anyone is predicting Barack Obama winning big. So you need a big win in order to avoid the kind of account a that you're talking about, you know, a delayed uh, winner scenario. But I have to say, the, the issue in Florida and some of the other counties we're talking about where you've seen this sort of wrangling, I think it's the Democrats' version of, you know, heads we win, tails you lose. Um, they're already trying to create this meme of suppression. You know, I have to say, in, in New York, by the way, and this is one of my favorite stories, where I just voted, you had to show ID to get into the building, but they were very explicit. This is the only place in the county of, of New York where you could vote early, but they're very explicit. You did not have to show ID to get your ballot. Well, guess what? If this were in a county that people actually weren't absolutely certain was going to go Democrat, there would have been all kinds of screaming and gnashing of teeth about this. So what we're seeing is just them playing out the politics early. If it does get close, they remember Florida, they want people already to have the S word, suppression, right at the tip of their tongue. They want them to start saying it right away. But this may not be a case just litigated, you know, inside of the media. This may be a case litigated in the courts, which it says... It most likely will be. And if Ohio is a close state, which it most likely will be, it, we might have not have a result for several days. Like, if the election hinges on Ohio, we're, this is likely going to go to court. And we won't know who the president will be for several days. But it also depends on the character of the two men who are running for the presidency. If you remember back in 2000, it was Al Gore who said, hey, wait a minute, put on the brakes. I want to check every avenue I possibly can with Florida, with the cherry picking of the counties that he thought would favor him. When a lot of people said, look, you know, there's such a thing as character and decency and you lost Florida, and that's where the chips fall. It turns out that's not where the dangling chads fell, uh, according to Al Gore. But I was up in Secaucus, uh, Secaucus, New Jersey, covering the 2000 election, and watching that strip mall, Will, was like deja vu all over again of these forces rallying to you know, just fight to the bitter, bitter last vote because of the stakes that are involved. But I won't get worried until Jesse Jackson shows up. <laughs> that's when I get worried. But this is what frustrates me, is that we do know that when it comes to early voting, Democrats are, are more likely to have an advantage when it comes to early voting. And then we have states like Ohio and Florida that have restricted the number of days that people can vote early. I understand why this is frustrating because it definitely seems like it's partisan politics. Or do you guys think differently? Well, well let, me, have, let me offer you, you one You can show counter. up on election day. They so. have to draw the line somewhere, too. I mean, if, if, if there's, there's always going to be people that complain about the process. There's always going to be I issues, didn't have two issues in the process. Vote, right? But I think it tells you a lot that, that Democrats are only willing to complain about the process, how many days are allowed, who fills out what form. My form is rejected, by the way. Red pen, not allowed, apparently. <laughs> um, so who does those sorts of things? Who comes up with those rules? They only care in those key counties. They don't seem to care about it at a national state, level. For and if you give too many outs, if, the, if you allow states to, to have too many changes to their, for example, if, if Governor Rick Scott decided that he was going to extend the days, that just opens you up to more challenges than the Democrats. It's heads, it's heads they win, tails they Let me lose. offer this counter argument, um, Emily. On its face, you're right. It does look odd. Why are Republicans restricting days, and in, in specifically in, in processes like early voting that, that benefit Democrats? But, but how about these stats? In 2000, early voting accounted for 15 percent of the total vote. In 2008, it was up to a third, and this year many are projecting 40 percent. So early voting is not getting more difficult. It's getting easier. And if some states are trying to marry that growth in convenience voting with a, a simultaneously growth in integrity, right? If we're making voting easier, whether or not that's early or online or absentee, we should at the same time be making making sure it's 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 sacrosanct right mm -hmm. so if that is married hand in hand i don't know that we're putting something hugely burdensome on the voter it seems to be getting easier to so, vote early not so, harder so will i have a, a legal question for you after the 2000 recount fiasco that had us you know looking at these ballots and trying to figure out if they were punched through or not uh, the supreme court obviously they weighed in and they made a decision and if i recall wasn't it that you know in order to treat all the citizens of florida equally you'd have to recount all the votes that you right, can't cherry pick. So claim. even if Florida turns out to be this nightmare scenario that you laid out, I'm not sure Democrats are going to want a statewide recount because it may not favor them as it didn't back in 2000. They'd probably go the Gore route. They'd probably want to pick certain but counties. But I think the to have Supreme the Court has told them that they can't. Well, they, they might try to revisit that issue. But also, when, you, when it comes to making the uh, the process easier in certain states, for example, talking about now email voting, right. um, you know, I think that well, something that's been discussed in New Jersey following the destruction of right. Superstorm Sandy. Exactly. I mean, once you open it that wide, I mean, why, does, why doesn't one state just say, we're just going to have six months of voting? You can vote a year in right. advance. There have to be standards. And the, the 
further we get away from uniform standards on this issue, I think the wider the, the latitude is for legal right. challenges. And Democrats are litigious. They like they like right. the ability to take these things to court. So I, I think, think we can see that. We want to have clear expectations. People need to know what the rules are in advance. And also for those that have been waiting in line, I agree, that's ridiculous. You have to wait seven to nine hours to vote. You can vote absentee in most states um, without a reason. And I think that's really important that people should be promoting that. If you, you know, can't wait in line, get an absentee ballot. You know, we've had people on this program like John Fund, who in fact is going to be on the program later tonight talking with you, Amy. And John has talked about what you, you were discussing, Buck, and that's that this growth in, in convenience voting, early voting. Um, and, and he talked about the fact that we need this Tuesday, this election day. I think he might be arguing for a horse that's already left the barn. I, I think this idea of a growth in convenience voting is going to happen. Technology is going to drive that. There's very little you can do to change it. What it does, though, is it shows you how important voter ID measures are things, in, in, you know, designed to make sure your vote has integrity behind it, that it's you who's casting that vote. I think it all that does is give yeah. evidence that those those issues are more important. I think That's this good, is the election point. where people will decide that we need to come up with some kind of a national consensus. Congress needs to act. Somebody needs to figure out what it is that the standards are for this, because otherwise it starts to become too piecemeal. And so, Amy, on your legal question mm -hmm. on Florida, let's return to that. I think I think the issue is not going to be so much Florida. It might be Ohio. It's where John Ohio. Houston has made this claim that the burden is upon the voter to prove who they are in provisional mm -hmm. ballots. And I'll just tell you this, Buck, you talked about this being a razor thin margin or not. Um, if it is a razor thin margin and Ohio, we know how important that is. They won't count those provisional ballots mm -hmm. until November 17th. 